pharmaceuticals like Panadol. After slap the face, I start the face down. This uh, technique, most of you know, but I'm going to use it in also. It's a very fast technique. Generally, as I thought, you know, generally we practice this with what's called Mind Palace steps. That's what that means. There should be Mind Palace steps in here. Mind Palace step. Most of the Tai Chi principles would do the self start step to come around the opponent. Sometimes we do want to cross our own center line. That's called Mind Palace step. So, so nine pounds drill. Generally in this trip, as again as I spoke about previously about how we train traditional techniques and the relevance of doing that. So generally what we do in a nine pass situation is that these if these right here just doesn't work. Basically, yeah. We move nine pass to learn. Our foot points in the direction of the that's that's the direction of my sweep. As I come around, I slide along his arm to find the target, the face, and I sweep the right to take him down. Start guard, hang, pull it down, single sweep up. So, this can be done on the other side, big throw the hook. In this case, I'm moving straight into it, very much like separate hands. Now I'm going to use single sweep up side in the other direction. So it can't be done on the inside or the other side, it doesn't really matter. So here we go with uh, how we do it with Melody and Sancho. Again, we're coming in. And down. So what I'm doing is I'm shortening that nine pound step. It has the feeling of it. It has the mechanical feeling of doing that. So as he's attacking, bouncing out of the way, pulling in the kind of gyrating arms. But the legs, instead of crossing and hitting, what I'm basically doing again is sliding into place to do the exact same technique too. So it seems too close. I can do a few of the other sides so we can see it. The fast way. Between point underneath the neck. There's a movement like this, it looks like in form. What you're doing here is you're using the lead. You're pushing down with the elbow onto the shoulder, and at the same time, that's going to flick the hand up naturally. So, in a way, you're going to break the structure. You're leaning and reaching. The reach pushes the shoulder forward, and then up. That's your big taking the structure down. You can possibly take it down with that on its own, but that's what you're learning. That's what that shape actually means and then you're just taking them down. So find some obvious things to happen in this situation, right? Sometimes you meet the opponent and he puts his weight on the foot and he resists it so you can't kick it forward. In that case, we don't try to step around and do something that's too slow. We simply take him to the splits and take him down that way. So again you're not going totally opposite, you're kind of leading it. Attack, same idea. He resists, take them to split, pull them that way. So another way, if you know, another time what you encounter sometimes, again, same thing, same thing. So another thing which you encounter is a person will drop the weight onto the back leg, in which case, if it's on the back leg, he can basically lift his foot out of the way or it won't do much. In that case, you'll have to, you'll have to feel where the opponent's weight is, and in that situation, you take the back leg out. So, three to three situation. You should learn this. Come on. Practicing it out of class for the main palace. So, if you get to used to turn your body and the kick in the right direction, as you get used to it, 
Take a more practical. You can start playing around with chin etc. in it. But if the guy is taller than it, and he attacks it, you're going, you're not going to reach up there. What you can do instead is put pressure on his bicep as you take him down. Lean 